Hello and welcome to another episode of Retrospective Gaming. In this episode, I am reviewing Fallout Tactics Brotherhood of Steel. Fallout Tactics was an interesting experiment. It was released in 2001. Now, instead of focusing on open-ended role-playing, this game focuses on squad management and strategy. Here is my review of Fallout Tactics Brotherhood of Steel. The story takes place in the American Midwest. It starts off near Chicago. The Brotherhood of Steel are trying to take different territories and expand its influence. They offer protection to tribals and in return they get recruits so they can build their army. Your character starts off as an initiate of the Brotherhood of Steel. After you finish your initiation, the Brotherhood of Steel tells you its main goal. To find this super vault called Vault Zero. This vault was used to protect the greatest minds of its time, and in order to get to this vault to see what's inside, the Brotherhood of Steel needs to make alliances, they need to recruit new members, and during this long journey, there are a lot of things to discover, and there are a lot of obstacles, so the Brotherhood of Steel needs to be as strong as possible when they get to Vault Zero. Now, I've tried to review Fallout Tactics several times over the past two years. It's a difficult game for me to review, not because I couldn't beat it or crash too much, nothing like that. It's just because this game is odd to me, and I don't mean that in a good or a bad way. This is not an open-ended role-playing game, it's a tactical game, and it's focused on squad management. But I'll get more into that later on when we talk about gameplay. So the story is told in a linear way. You get different assignments and you and your squad has to go to these different areas and complete these primary and sometimes secondary objectives. And that's how the story progresses. You get assignments, you complete them, you get more, you move on, and that's how it works. Now I have mixed opinions on the story. The story was interesting enough for me to beat the game and not feel like it was a chore. And there were several things about the story that I did enjoy. I'll give you a couple of examples. I did enjoy the Beast Lord faction and the mission where you have to go into their lair and kill the Beast Lord leader and try to figure out why they are able to control Death Claws. What are they doing to get the Death Claws to follow them and serve them? I also thought the robot army was a good addition and how it ties into the main antagonist. I thought it was cool that there was this crazy homicidal robot army coming from the west and you have to deal with that and how that all ties into the story so there are several things that i did enjoy but i think the weakest thing about the story in fallout tactics is the way that it's told this is a linear game your character is really not interacting with the world outside of doing your missions you are not having back and forth conversations with different dialogue options and skill checks so i do think that hurts it to be fair, this is a tactical squad management game with RPG elements, it's not a CRPG. There is a small amount of choice in this story. At the end, you have to make a choice, and there are different endings, that's about it. Overall, the story was interesting enough to hold my attention and not make it feel like it was a chore to beat the game. I do wish they would have fleshed it out with more cutscenes or go into the background of some of the factions more and just go more in depth with some of the things. But this game was developed with the mindset of focusing more on the gameplay than the story. So I do give them credit for giving us a story, something that we can get invested in. I just wish they would have made a CRPG spinoff where you play as an initiate of the Brotherhood and you're going up through the ranks and trying to help them conquer whichever area they're going into instead of making a tactical game. But, this is what this game is, and I'm doing my best not to be biased. Let's talk about gameplay. Now, Fallout Tactics is a real-time slash turn-based game with role-playing elements. You have a squad, and you can recruit different members for your squad. Each member has their own sets of advantages and disadvantages. For example, you can choose a squad mate that's a nurse, and they're really good at healing, and you want them to have all your healing items. Or you can have a member that's really good with big guns, they can be your tank. Or you can recruit someone that's good with melee weapons, etc. 
you and your squad mates will level up just like it's an old school Fallout game. You have skills, you have your special, you have perks, and you will level up each of your squad mates and yourself. So this plays like the original Fallout games when it comes to the combat. But unlike the combat in Fallout 1 and 2, the default setting in Fallout Tactics is CTB, also known as Continuous Turn-Based Combat. And CTB is just real time with action points. Now, your squad will get assignments. In this game, you get assignments and you go to these different areas and complete them. You don't go into different towns and cities and get side quests and main quests and talk to people. This is a linear game and you're just focusing on completing each mission. But, these missions do have some variety. It's not just every mission you have to go here and kill that. In some missions, you might have to drive a vehicle. For example, in Macomb, you have to fight your way through the town and clear roadblocks so you can safely drive the Humvee out of the area. In St. Louis, you have to fight against super mutants so you can save your fellow Brotherhood of Steel member, Burt. And in the mission called Marden, you have to fight beast lords and you have to kill their leader. Not only that, you have to figure out why they are able to control death claws. So there is a good amount of variety in the missions to shake it up and keep it interesting. Fallout Tactics is a challenging game. There were several times in the game that I had to run back, regroup, and get myself together because I rushed in and I got my ass kicked. I almost got several members of my party killed that I couldn't afford losing or simply wasn't paying attention and someone from the second floor or someone from the rooftop started lobbing grenades and molotov cocktails and just nearly took out my whole crew so you gotta pay attention and you gotta be patient in this game I admit I am not the best at tactical games, games like XCOM or Jagged Alliance or Fallout Tactics and as you can see in the footage I think I'm alright but definitely not great I'm better at managing one person than managing a group of four, five, or six people. And in some areas of the game, I was surprised and caught off guard. For example, in the one mission where you have to fight your way through the city and clear the roadblock so you can get the Humvee out of there, I was near the last roadblock and all of a sudden all of these civilians start running out of the buildings and they're throwing rocks, they're trying to beat you up, they're throwing dynamite and it really did catch me off guard and I almost died and I almost failed the mission because my character was ambushed and I had to run back because I sent my main character Che out to do that so there's a lot of fun moments in this game for me now Fallout Tactics is not a super complex game where every mission requires a lot of thought and patience and you have to use these complex maneuvers in order to defeat each mission Sometimes, even in later missions, I was successful with using simple tactics like using one of my squad members as a guinea pig to lure the other enemies out and they get ambushed by my squad or just using my whole squad to just run through the enemy and overpower them. Simple tactics like that worked for me a lot. Now that's not to say that Fallout Tactics isn't difficult. This game is difficult. I'm just saying that this game does not require you to be thinking in every mission, micromanage everything all the time, and plan every mission out. Sometimes all you need to do is get your whole squad and plow right through them with no thinking or planning. Now Fallout Tactics is a linear game. The way the story is told, the way you have to do the missions, there's no denying that it's linear. But there is some freedom. The way you choose your squad mates, you can pick whatever team you want. You can choose a whole bunch of melee people or a mix of everybody. Or you can choose people that are just good with big guns or small guns. You can mix and match your team. You can choose whatever squad you want. And your squad does not have to be full of just humans. You can choose different races like super mutant, ghouls, etc. And you can handle missions in different ways. You can bring a squad of two or three people and be sneaky, maneuver around, try not to cause attention to yourself, and just be patient and take out enemies very slowly. Or you can just get a group of six people and say fuck running around very slowly. You just try to dominate all of your enemies very quick. That's up to you. Now, I do think in certain areas the game was being cheap. For example, when you're going into the Beast Lord's lair, there was this one area where I had to go to the end of this hallway and each time, as soon as I go right through there, I get ambushed and my squad, either some of them gets taken out 
or they just really fuck up my team and no matter what even if i try to do two or three members going through there or one trying to lure them into my squad it's just i'm gonna take a hit no matter what i do think the game was cheap at certain parts but that's a minor issue but the biggest problem with the gameplay in fallout tactics is the fact that it's not very polished this game is buggy interplay unfortunately rushed this game out and it shows I had this problem in certain areas where some dead bodies would flicker, sometimes my characters would get stuck, and some other stupid things that I saw. This game should have had a better testing period, and they should have waited a bit more to put this out. There is another issue I want to talk about, the interface. It's a minor issue, but it can be clunky at times. When I was playing in continuous turn base mode, and that's the only mode I recommend playing because trying to play in turn base it's not very polished and it doesn't work for me but when I was playing in CTB mode things can get really hectic when you have a full squad or four or five members and you're trying to kill the other enemies sometimes when you have to highlight your squad mates and you order them to shoot an enemy it's very hectic because it's hard to get them to focus on the enemy the other enemies running around and sometimes they just sit there and they don't do anything even though they could be on aggressive mode where they're supposed to fire at any enemy near them, it was pretty annoying. There are two more minor issues I want to mention. One, controlling vehicles in this game is fucking annoying. And two, the world map. When you're traveling the world map to get to a different area, why do I get random encounters every two fucking seconds? Invest in outdoorsman skills because I don't mind random encounters. I don't even mind a lot of random encounters But when I'm getting it every time I move just a half a centimeter on the map Yeah, it's pretty annoying, but overall I had fun with the game I did enjoy the gameplay even with the bugs and some of the issues it was enjoyable to me It grew on me when I first played this game one or two years ago. I forget but when I first played it, I did not like it. I put it to the side. And as I got further into the game and I eventually beat it, I started to like it. But we're not done yet. Let's talk about sound and atmosphere. Now, Fallout Tactics does a good job of keeping the old school Fallout feel. It's a different game from Fallout 1 and 2. This is a tactical game with role playing elements. Fallout 1 and 2 are CRPGs but it looks and plays like old school fallout there are special encounters in this game if any of you are wondering and one of my favorite special encounters in this game is the invasion from the canadians the canada invasion that one is fucking hilarious and just like fallout 1 and 2 you have perks you have skills and you have the special system and you put your skills to use one of my main concerns about fallout tactics before i played the game for the first time was that I was going to invest these points into my character and my squad mates and put all this time, level up, and nothing would come of it. They would all be the same generic character. Luckily, that was not the case. My character, Che, was especially good at lockpicking, and he put it to use in almost every mission. And I enjoyed the setting. I like the different areas that you go to in this game. I like some of the things that they added, like the Beast Lords, and I think the developers did a good job of keeping the old school feel, even though it's a different type of game. When you go into the mountains, you go into Kansas City, or you see the different bunkers that the Brotherhood of Steel has, and you hear the soundtrack, and there are a couple tracks that I really like, and you'll hear it playing in the background throughout the video. So overall, I think it's fine. I like the sound and the atmosphere and Fallout tactics. Now, there are some weapons in the game that I am very surprised that are in a Fallout game but it really didn't bother me so what is my overall opinion of fallout tactics i think it's a good game i don't think it's an excellent game i don't think it's a fantastic game but it's a good game and it's an enjoyable experience this game just needed more time and development it needed more polish but unfortunately interplay rushed it out thank you for watching another episode let me know what you think about this. You can leave a comment if you want. You can message me on Twitter. You can tweet me. You know how to get into contact with me. Have a great day.